spun organizing and going through clothes and getting rid of them. Probably got rid of about like 10 bags of kids clothes and donated that. And then I have about 8 bags downstairs of my own stuff. Um, just making some dinner right now. Had this pad thai mix. I never had pad thai. But I didn't have any chicken and I didn't want to use the pork that we had but I did decide to use this like chopped up um, ham surprisingly downstairs just to get rid of it. I don't know. Can I flip this around? Oh my god. I'm glad I took out the garbage. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> raining like crazy outside. Two times? I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's been raining on and off today for the 4th of July. It's about 8 o'clock and I've just now been getting to stuff at the house because I've been just like relaxing this past weekend. Um, but yeah, it needed to get done. We just like vacuumed and steam mopped all the floors, vacuumed out the couches, about to vacuum up the stairs and just clean up. And then maybe do a swimsuit haul because I've had those upstairs for a little while. I have like this thing I bought from this company called Beach Waver. It's like a hair, an electric, like automatic hair griller. And then I bought something from Saint Makeup. It's like a customized palette somebody did for me and I thought it would give it a go. Um, I don't know, I'll have to make a separate video for that though. I'm gonna finish dinner and then we'll see how far I get. 8.30. Just got done cooking it and actually tasted a little bit because I was pouring some in a bowl for work tomorrow for leftovers and it actually tasted kind of good. It had like the sweetness to it. I've never had pad thai so I don't know like how to compare it to that but we'll see how everybody likes it. My mom actually got me a couple things from Camper Chef for my birthday and one of them was these pad thai mixes so this is actually where that came from. It's basically just for the sauce. This is to make chicken pad thai but we didn't have chicken um, but yeah, you just follow the instructions and then, um, eventually add in your meat and then stuff at the bottom if you'd like, but I didn't feel like doing scrambled eggs, but I did have some sliced bell pepper that I had used earlier and then I forgot to do the peanuts, but I chopped up onions and garlic and threw it in there and it's actually pretty fucking good. Shit. Sorry, that scared the fuck out of me, dude. That's a cute little cork. I'm like a hoarder, but you know what? Like, the things I have, I like, and I do keep corks. So, this is going to the collection. It only took me an hour and a half from 8.32 to finally get started on doing the stairs, which I will in a second. Did some dishes. Um, and then I was watching some fireworks outside after I poured myself a drink. My girlfriend got me this little tumbler. Comes with a straw. Something to actually get the cork out, but this was like a pop top one. And then one of these uh, little stoppers um, for when you throw these away even though I save them but I just keep them separate but yeah it was pretty cool outside I'll have to upload some of the videos and pictures or just whatever because it was over our fence looking up in the sky but I think it's the neighbors I don't think it's the actual fireworks that are in the Wauwatosa fireworks but I'll include those so you guys can see
this floor was cleared hey, off don't and me. clean. Hey, knock it off. That's a sock that I found on one of the shoes, but fuck, it's all cleared. Let's see how long it takes for me to mush it up. Y'all be doing shit upstairs and then forget about the shit downstairs, like the fucking wash. Mm -hmm. So that's all the crap that I'm donating after we already donated about 10 bags of clothes from the kids to the clothing banks. I hope this shit is dry. Yeah, I think it's good. I have something in the wash and then maybe I'll do one more wash. Cause I'm like, it's kind of late, but I'll probably still be up because I literally just started drinking my wine, even though it's 10 fucking p.m. And I gotta go to work at 8 in the morning, but I don't care. It's gonna get done. What I just did, I like took this shit apart and realized it was really fucking dirty. And instead of going to get a fucking sponge and a toothbrush, because there's obviously like a couple probably little pieces up in this thing that I couldn't get, um... I used a fucking sock to fucking clean it with water. <laughs> I'm like, uh, maybe I could get it and then I realized there was like three parts. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. <sighs> I just put my newest cork in here, but this is like my little jar of cork bottle tops. Um, I'd like to get like a huge bowl of some sort and have it be more decorative when I get my house. I don't know. I just think it's like kind of cool looking. So I kind of feel like this part here needs to be a little tighter because there's like this space right here. So kind of like looks weird in that sense, but the first swimsuit's back is pretty cute. Um, and then like it's kind of cute, like how it's ruched in the front and then how it comes to the side. This could be like a little lower, I think. I don't think it needs to be like this high, I guess. Um, yeah, it's cute. It looks more orange on this video for some reason. It's more like a coral and then a black. Um, but yeah. It's pretty cute. I don't know what I would rate it. I feel like for being a large, because I ordered one in large and one in medium. Mm, like a seven. Like I'm totally not in love with it, but I feel like it looks cute on me. Um, so yeah. So this is my second outfit from Popville. Um, this can be like kept thick and then it like can stay with the black part or you can kind of thin it out and kind of like pull it up a little bit. Um, I think both look like obviously fine but it's probably going to end up going like this um, towards the end of the day which is fine. Um, so this is actually the medium. And the first one was the large, and this one actually fits more like a fucking large, believe it or not, which is funny. And this is the one that I thought that I would have issues with being too tight, but it's fucking perfect, dude. But I will say, this took a while to get on because of the way that these straps are in the front. There's a halter piece at the top, but then this was like connected with this in the beginning, so I had to unloosen it then retighten it and I found out the more that you pull on this thing the tightener you can actually have your suit to be in the front so it kind of all depends on how um, loose you want it which is kind of nice like how you do usually like most halter tops even though this one is connected so I can't like change that part but from there to down here it's all connected technically um, and then it ties down here instead of like at the top I guess so that's like something different I haven't seen um, 
But yeah, I would honestly give this shit. Do I want to give it a 10 or a 9? Um, I'll give it a 10, honestly, because the first one talked about having more coverage. But really, like, this one has more coverage. Like, my ass was kind of hanging out of the last one. And I like how this lands where the other one, I felt like it just was too tall. And then it had some weird thing where, like, because it was connected to the whole suit, it just had, like, this air bubble or something. Which kind of wasn't flattering, but, um, this one's kind of nice because you can, you know, kind of play around with it. And then, because of the straps, you can make it tighter or looser. So yeah, I really like this one. It is cute. I'm so fucking sweaty right now. It's hot up here in my room. Um, but yeah, so that's probably going to be it for tonight. I have like a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to try on, um, but I might have to make another video. Crap, it's shutting down. Well, I'll end the video there. Thanks for tuning in, guys.